Orange and red, but here in southern New England, we're in this green shaded area in Massachusetts. That's a marginal risk. It is risk for a few isolated thunderstorms that may develop later on today. So we'll watch this threat. It will be increasing. Here's a snapshot of some of the temperatures this morning. Notice we go from the teens and 20s to the 50s. Air is going to be making its way into New England, but when you get that, especially, let's time it all out hour by hour. You notice through the afternoon, the rain fills in. It'll be steady but light and linger into the first part of your evening commute, too. Shouldn't slow you down all that much, but you'll need the wipers on in eastern Massachusetts. Our activity is done in the next hour or so. Clearing back to the west, but colder temperatures, too. Notice we drop into the 40s, eventually the 30s, and then the single digits. There's a little blast. of snow in March, 8.6 back in 2015, and a remarkable 20.6 inches back in 2013. We've just had a tenth of an inch so far for the month of March here in Boston. Tuesday. For us, snow arrives Tuesday morning, but this will not be a flurry snow shower event. And then a gradual ramp up. It's going to be a wall of snow that moves in. So conditions deteriorate. The biggest uncertainty at this point, if the storm takes a track right over Cape Cod, we're talking about a changeover by about midday on the Cape, up to the south shore early to mid afternoon, and that rains foot and drake it, and just under 10 inches in Westwood. The wind, oh, was it whipping around? We had some hurricane force peak uh, gusts out there. Plum Island, 77 miles per hour today, right around or just over 50, 40s on the Cape. That's actually a little bit above where we should be for this time of the year. Partly cloudy, 29 to 33 in the suburbs tonight, 34 down. There is the Arctic front right now, it's pushing back through eastern Canada. Get some clouds and some snow showers with it. There will be some snow showers, mainly in northern New England, from this disturbance. The drop in, of course, so does our real feel then. Into the teens and single digits this afternoon and evening. Winter chill with an Arctic blast coming in. The wind chill goes into the single digits through the middle part of next week. We may see some improvement by Wednesday, but it's kind of a gloomy stretch the next several days. Don't want to sugarcoat it here. Now, the clouds have rolled in today, and there will be a couple of showers. Even some weather's running in the 40s this afternoon. The rain pushing through from west to east will taper during the mid to late afternoon from west to east. There'll still be a couple of pockets of downpours and showers around to be dry. And then between about 3 and 5 p.m., some steadier rain does fill in, particularly Boston points north. Our heaviest rain from the south shore of the Cape comes during the late evening and overnight, and that's where there'll be some disturbance. It's in the central part of the country right now, bringing some severe weather, bringing snow to parts of Colorado and New Mexico. The rain extends all the way back up through Iowa and down to the Gulf Coast. Be key tomorrow in determining the forecast and the precipitation type. Where is our storm right now? It's out over the Midwest. The area of low pressure pushing through parts of Missouri. We've got